So, in this video we're going to be covering algebra with functions. I know it sounds like your two favorite things put together. So, it turns out that thankfully most of this will work the way we sort of expect it to, so hopefully a lot of this should make pretty good sense. But I'm going to point out a couple things along the way that are sort of common errors. Okay? So, starting out, our notation, right? So, when we're talking about algebra with functions, what we're talking about is sort of doing our normal algebraic uh, operations, like adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, but we're doing it sort of at a function level, right? So that's what this means when we say like f plus g in parentheses of x, that's gonna be the f of x plus g of x. So what this is saying is if I'm adding f and g together, then that's really just the same as adding the rules f of x and g of x together, okay? And as mentioned, this works sort of how we would expect it. So for adding, we add them, we add the rules together. For subtracting, we subtract that second rule from the first rule. For multiplying, we multiply the rules together. Um, it's sort of worth mentioning here uh, that, that that first dot here, right? This is a closed dot, so the multiplication is a closed dot. Not to be confused with composition, which is this open circle kind of dot. So be very attentive when you're looking at it because you will see both of these sort of commonly and they are radically different things. Um, last but not least, division. So division of the functions is the division of the rule. And this works sort of exactly how you would expect it to with that caveat that, again, sort of as expected, we don't want the bottom to be zero. So this works, but only where g of x itself is not zero, right? Because g of x being just some random function, that could be zero and that would be perfectly fine normally. But if we're dividing by it, Dividing by zero is all kinds of bad, so we don't want that to have happen, okay? So all of this is sort of alphabet soup, so let's look at some, you know, some actual examples and see how these things compute out, okay? So let's say we have functions, right, f of x and g of x. And again, these functions are sort of just arbitrarily chosen. There's nothing special about these functions. So we have f of x here, this x squared plus 3x minus 1, and g of x is this x minus 5. So if we're going to add them, Again, we do it sort of exactly how you would expect. We add the two rules together. So we have that f of x plus g of x, and I just replace f of x with what it is. So this f of x is that, again, x squared plus 3x minus 1, so I just put that there. g of x is this x minus 5, so I just put it there. Now, it is good form to, when you're going to replace these like this, to put them in parentheses or brackets or something to sort of show which part went where. Uh, sometimes that's not a big deal. Like with addition, it's not going to be a huge deal. Sometimes it makes a huge difference, like with subtraction and multiplication. So uh, it's sort of a good habit to be with sort of general, right, doing general, but it makes a huge difference sometimes. That's why it's sort of key. Now, uh, once I have actually written it out, right, I can just simplify it nicely, right? So I can put like terms together and, and get a final thing, okay? So... What about subtraction? So subtraction, same deal, right? So I have my rules, right? My, my difference of functions is just the difference of those rules, subtracting. Here, right, I still have to be careful with the parentheses or the brackets or whatever you want to use. And that's because I need to make sure that I'm going to distribute this negative sign correctly, right? So in the next step, when I'm going to start simplifying, I need to distribute that negative to the x and the negative 5 which is why I'm going to end up with this minus x plus 5, right? So one of the most common errors to make here is that you don't sort of use parentheses so that you don't end up distributing that negative correctly and everything sort of goes wrong on you. But once you've done that, again, putting together like terms, you get your sort of nice simplified version at the end, okay? So next up, products. Same deal, product of functions is the product of the rules. Again, same deal. I just plug in the things with those brackets or parentheses. Here I need to do distribution. Um, if you're used to doing something like FOIL, it turns out that's not necessarily going to work here, right? Because one of these is three terms versus two. So it's sort of a nicer, a nicer approach is to use this general distribution technique, which is where you take one of these, I'm going to choose this first one, but you could use either one, and you sort of distribute it to each individual piece. So I'm gonna take this x squared plus 3x minus one, multiply it against the x, and then take the same thing, x squared plus 3x minus one, multiply it against the negative five. So that gets me this thing, right? 
And then as my next step, I do the same process, but I'm going to go the other direction. So I'm going to take this x, multiply it against the x squared, the 3x, and the minus 1. And then I'm going to take the minus 5, multiply that against the x squared, the 3x, and the minus 1. And that'll get me this sort of expanded form. And then I can collapse everything back together and get my final sort of simplified version. Okay. Last but not least, division. So here, division works again just how we would think it would. So we do the division of the function is the division of the rules. So we have f of x in the top, the x squared plus 3x minus 1, the g of x in the bottom, x minus 5. But we want to make sure to make a note that, well, x can't be 5 here, right? Because it, it could be 4, right? There's nothing wrong up here with x being 5 because they're just random polynomials. So I can plug in 5 just fine. But now I'm dividing by one of them. So 5 no longer makes sense because I'd be trying to divide by 0. Okay, so what do we do? We covered algebra with functions, which sort of sounds more intimidating than it ends up being because it all sort of works the way we would expect it to, right? With that little caveat that we want to make sure to use those parentheses or brackets just so that we sort of keep track of negative signs or distributing things correctly, that kind of thing. And we want to make sure that we're sort of very attentive about that uh, product versus composition dot, right? The open circle for composition versus the closed dot for products. But with those sort of minor things aside, it all sort of works the way we want. So it's actually not as bad as it might sound at first glance. Okay. So that's that.